Hello! My last video compared the ISO performance between the Nikon D70 and the D600. It was intended to be a very subjective and unscientific comparison, showing the kind of results you get when you just pick up the camera and go. Now there are a few problems with this approach. First of all, comparing an ancient 6 megapixel crop to a modern 24 megapixel full frame camera is ridiculous. It's, it's no contest. The D600 wins, clearly. Secondly, metering differences can and did occur. And even with all the fancy in-camera image enhancements turned off, uh, the JPEG conversion process could still be tweaking the image without me knowing about it. So I thought I'd do a second test that would be much more controlled. This time around I used the 1870 that came with the D70. When I put it on the D600 it entered DX mode. So now I'm comparing a 6 megapixel crop against a 10 megapixel crop which is a slightly less ridiculous comparison. My methods are explained in the description below and on my website, so let's just get straight to the point. We're looking at two images side by side, zoomed into 100% as viewed in dark table on Ubuntu. Okay, so the D70 is on the left. Uh, ISO 200 zoomed in to 100%. Now the highlights look a bit worse than ISO 400 on the D600, but they're definitely better than ISO 800. The shadows are about on par with ISO 800 on the D600. So we've got a one and a half stop advantage in the highlights, but a two stop advantage in the shadows. At ISO 400, highlights are worse than 800, but better than 1600. Uh, the shadows look like 3200 to me. So again, a one and a half stop advantage in the highlights, but the shadows I think are pretty much at a three stop advantage. At ISO 800, looks like 3200 to me in the uh, highlights, but ISO 6400 in the shadows. ISO 1600 zoomed into 100%. Um, to me, this looks like high one or ISO 12,800. So here the D600 seems to have an overall three stop advantage. So we've got some interesting findings. This test was actually a lot more difficult than the JPEG test as the highlights and shadows had different noise performance. So I can't just say the ISO performance is a clear three stops better because it's not three stops better. It might be three stops better in the shadows, but the highlights are only a stop and a half better. Zoomed out, I actually liked the color of the D70 better. Uh, the D600 looks kind of flat. For all of these shots, I left the white balance on auto. Uh, that's the one uncontrolled thing I forgot about. Now if you look at these sliders on the D600, they hardly move at all as you go through the shots. But the D70 is a different story entirely. They're just jumping all over the place. Now some issues with this test. Zooming into 100% and pixel peeping isn't exactly a fair real world comparison, especially when comparing sensors with a different resolution. Pixel peeping is great for online reviews, but in reality I stand by the first test of being more significant because chances are you're going to pick up the camera and go more often than you lean in at a screen zoomed in all the way. Alright, so I'd appreciate it if you could let me know what you thought about this video, what problems did I make, what glaring mistakes are in my methods. I'll maybe address them, or maybe not. Weekend's coming up. I might just want to go camping instead.